Audio Note is this app right here. Uh, if you're part of the Digital Canvas Initiative at the Cleveland Institute of Art, Audio Note will be given to you along with your iPad. It's a pretty simple app. There's not too much to figure out, but it does a lot. One of the most important things, I think, is that it addresses different learning styles. Some people are visual learners. Some people learn by listening. Some people like to think of things in a logical, sequential order and write them down. And what's nice about this app is it does all three at once. So let's get started right away taking some fake notes. So we uh, are attending a lecture, let's say, about dinosaurs. As the person's about to begin speaking, we are going to click on this little red dot right here, tap, to start recording. And now it's red, you can see the numbers, the, it's ticking and showing you your recording, and you can see the level of the audio, which is pretty good. So we can start typing now while it's recording. So I'll type dinosaurs, and as I'm typing dinosaurs, and I hit return, you'll notice the title changes to dinosaurs as well, so it self-titles, uh, unless you want to title it something different later. Let's say the, uh, the lecturer is uh, drawing a diagram instead, and he's talking about something unusual about cellular division in dinosaurs. And I'm picking cells because I can draw something really simple real quick, but uh, it's really good for taking the kind of, uh, you know, diagrammatic notes if you needed to copy something and talking about cellular division. And, of course, you can write as well as, as draw, okay? So I'll say cells. Awesome drawing. Uh, go back to the T tool, the type, and we're going to continue typing. And let's say at this point, the lecturer is saying something that I'm very, very confused about. It's just confusing, right, at this point. So I'm making a note that I'm confused about it. And then something is very important as the uh, person reaches their conclusion and, and makes the whole point. So I'll, I want to highlight this, okay? And then I'll go on and record uh, more stuff as well, right? So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll type one more thing, uh, more stuff, okay? So we'll assume this was a very long lecture where we could do all of this stuff uh, multiple times, okay? But let's pretend we are done. So when we're done, we hit the stop button over here on the same icon. We click to stop recording, okay? And we are ready to go to playback mode up here, playback. And now with our recording, we can start it and tap to start recording. And now it's red, you can see the numbers, the, it's ticking and showing you your recording. So you can see by default, it starts at the very beginning. So I can click on something and the audio will go to there. So we said there was a certain point where things were confusing down here. And it has the time there, right? So it's two minutes and one second. Uh, I started getting confused about a certain concept. So all I've done is typed the word confusing. And now with this little hand icon, which is the default icon in the playback mode, I just tap on it. I tap. And notice it's taken me to what? Two minutes and one second, exactly where it starts getting confusing. And I've recorded the lecture, so I can go where I said it was confusing, that's all I wrote, and I can listen to his audio uh, when I'm home and I can rewind it and take more time. Point. The lecturer is saying something that I'm very, very confused about. It's just confusing, right? At this point, so I'm making a note that I'm confused about it, and then something is... So I can listen later when I get home and, uh, and, and try to figure it out, hear exactly what they're saying, and uh, you know, look it up, uh, you know, Google it, research it, and find out exactly what that term was that the person used that I was confused about. Or perhaps they even just spoke too fast and I couldn't retain it all or, or type that fast, right? So I can go back, touch it, and it turns blue, and then I push the playback, and it plays right at that exact moment, and you have the recorded reference. Okay, so I think this is a great tool. Uh, we also said we wanted to highlight something, and I've written highlight this, right? And I wanted to go back and highlight it because that was an important point. So we can use this tool right here, the yellow marker, and uh, we all we have to do to highlight this is go click on the word, and it highlights. If I go click again, it unhighlights. If I go click and hold and drag, I can highlight the whole sentence or paragraph. Now let's talk a little bit about organization. I'm going to go over here then and uh, access the location and we'll say this is at the uh, Museum of Natural History. Now I go back over here 
and you'll notice under my notes folder here, click to open it, there's just one thing and it's called Dinosaurs, dated August 17, 2011, 6.25 p.m. and 29 seconds, okay? And now I'll get rid of the keyboard so it's easier to see. Uh, we have edit, right? So if I wanted to get rid of this, I don't know why I would get rid of this beautiful note, but I could, I could select it and then hit the trash, right? Or I can put it someplace. I can put it uh, in another destination, right? You can have multiple, uh, multiple folders. Okay, but I'll hit done. So what if we want to make a new folder that's especially for all of our, our dinosaur lectures that we're going to be attending every week? Okay, so without selecting anything here, we just hit edit and new folder. Yes. Okay, the folder's name is going to be Dinosaur Talks. Okay, and I'll hit save. All right, so, um, so I'll just hit done. And now we have Dinosaur Talks in the notes folder. So we could have a whole bunch of folders. So for instance, if you were a student that was attending classes, you could make a folder for each of your classes. And then you can go into your uh, 2D design folder, hear all of the 2D design lectures and the person talking about your assignments. And you could access all of the stuff that we talked about in individual documents. And uh, then you'll notice right here, uh, there's nothing in that folder, right? But we just made this thing where we had the, the dinosaurs lecture, right? It's still here. So we have our dinosaurs lecture, and then we go to edit, select it again, and then we hit this little folder, and we can move it into the dinosaur talks folder, and we're done, right? So now, in my dinosaur talks folder, we have our very first dinosaur lecture all ready for us. So again, you can organize things into folders, and that's another way to make things easily accessible. Now, a couple other things though, uh, we want to share this, we want to share it. So uh, here we are again with the, uh, the document that we created. There's only two more little buttons on here, so you know we're about done, okay? So here's the information button on the uh, actual document. And we have dinosaurs, location, Museum of Natural History. It was created at this time and it was last modified at this time, okay? So uh, we're, we're getting close to doing everything we could possibly do. Uh, I'll just say that you can alter the appearance and have it have several different kinds of, of paper. That's pretty cutesy. But all in all, unless you're doing something like specific graph drawings, I think I'd just keep it a blank white piece of paper. Okay, that's my preference. And then we can share it. So I could do it by email. I could email it to myself or I could share it in a network. I'm just hitting cancel and I am done. So I can email it to myself more directly by clicking on this little envelope icon right here. Click. And then I'll just type in my email address. Okay. And I can click it here. It's giving me a shortcut. And I will send it. And I just emailed it to myself, the entire document. So that's all there is to it. So you can record the audio on a lecture, type notes at the same time, do handwritten notes and pictures, and then go to playback mode later to listen or look at any part of the piece and to highlight it, edit, or draw attention to it in a number of ways. So that's Audio Notes, a great multimedia note-taking app.